This is an IoT vehicle counter device designed to accurately measure vehicle traffic to help predict when road maintenance is needed. Here's how it works. Roads and highways are critical infrastructure for cities, relied on every day for travel, commerce, and emergency services. Over time, roads are damaged by the vehicles driving on them, forming potholes and cracks that make them unreliable and unsafe for drivers. Major road repairs are costly and inconvenient, but can be avoided with preventive maintenance. To help schedule this maintenance in a data-driven way, the IoT vehicle counter was developed. This device is capable of monitoring any road and counting the number of vehicles that drive on it. Using this data, traffic engineers can forecast how much damage a road will receive based on its average vehicle traffic and schedule maintenance before major repairs are required. The device consists of electronics housed in a 3D printed body. Using an elastic band, the device is attached to a signpost or other object alongside the road that will be monitored. It's positioned so the onboard camera is aimed at the road's passing vehicle traffic and powered on using the toggle switch. Once powered on, the device continuously captures images and processes them through a custom object detection model that is trained to detect vehicles. Any vehicle driving on the road past the device is captured in an image and detected by the model. Each time a vehicle is detected, the device uses its cellular connection to log the detection to a cloud database for that specific device. This process repeats while the device is powered on, creating an online record of the total number of vehicles that have driven on the road. End users, such as traffic engineers, can access a web application to view real-time information about each device that is deployed. The application shows an overview map with icons that represent the position of each deployed device and shows the total number of vehicles that the device has detected. The map can be panned and zoomed and helps users visualize the coverage of devices within their city. Clicking an icon will highlight it and highlight its corresponding details in the menu. Device details include the name of the road being monitored, the coordinates of the device, the device ID, and the date range of when it has been deployed. The total number of vehicles detected by the device is shown, along with a daily average vehicle count. Traffic engineers can use these numbers to estimate how much vehicle traffic the road will receive days, months, or years into the future. This correlates to how much damage the road will receive and can be used to predict when maintenance will be needed. Here's a breakdown of the components that make up the vehicle counter device. This is the OpenM VCAM H7 Plus, which is a microcontroller board that features a built-in camera and multiple I.O. pins. The board runs a custom Python script that controls the camera to capture images and processes them through an object detection model to detect vehicles. The OpenM VCAM is connected to the AVR IoT cellular mini board, which features a SIM card reader, cellular modem, antenna, and multiple I.O. pins. This board runs an Arduino sketch that sets up an LTE connection, connects to the MQTT server, and publishes MQTT messages each time a vehicle is detected by the OpenM VCAM. The components are powered by a LiPo battery that plugs into the JST socket of the cellular mini board and includes a toggle switch for turning the device on and off. All the components are mounted within the 3D printed device housing, which includes a front piece, body, and back plate. Here is an overview of the data pipeline that delivers vehicle data from the device to the user. When the device detects a vehicle, it uses its cellular service to publish an MQTT message to a topic on the AWS IoT core service. This message contains the device's unique ID and number of vehicles detected by the device. A rule is set up which automatically executes a Lambda function each time a message is received. This Lambda function updates the device's record in the DynamoDB, increasing the total vehicle count for that device and adding a timestamp of the latest detection. Users access the web application through a browser, which makes an HTTP request to an AWS S3 bucket that is hosting the application files. To get information about each of the devices, the application makes a request to an API gateway endpoint. A request made to this endpoint executes a Lambda function, which queries the database and returns device data in JSON format. The device data is returned to the application, where it is rendered on the map and device list for the user to see.